All right, am I recording now? Let me see. Yes, I am. All right, hey guys. <coughs> I'm dying here. Sorry, I've been sick for the past couple days. Anyways, hello. I'm Gravity the Ghost, and uh, I'm here recording my live reaction to the Nintendo Direct. Actually, it may it might help if I actually put it in full screen. We don't need to look at that chat. So yeah, uh, directs today. In about we got five minutes uh, left until it goes live. Um, I'm hoping for a bunch of things. Obviously, we already know we're gonna get Fire Emblem Three Houses because they're gonna have probably a spotlight on it. Uh, Uh, so, uh, my phone's being bombarded with uh, notifications that people are going live for the stream. Like, I originally wanted to do a live stream for the direct, but the thing is that uh, my streaming isn't always the best, and sometimes it likes to screw me over, especially when I'm trying to do a reaction, like the Smash Direct. It just, uh, my computer just wasn't having it that day. So I'm just, just going to do a pre-recorded uh, direct. I'm just going to record everything here, and then I'm going to upload it afterwards. And it probably won't go live and pay probably until like an hour or so after, which is okay. So I actually have <laughs> I actually made a bingo card. Uh, let me pull it up on my phone. Up oh, here we go. So, I have a couple things listed on here. A lot of these are based on either a lot of these uh, retailer leaks or um, King Zell or a couple other things. Um, so, uh, I'm just going to put it, because this is all randomized. So, I'm just going to put an order of, like, uh, the way I see it. So, I put down Assassin's Creed 3. I feel like that's going to happen. Uh, Dragon Quest 11. I've Well, 11S or however you want to talk about it. Um <coughs> Um, I also think we might possibly get an announcement for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. I don't know. I feel like it's going to happen with the way Nintendo has been talking about, you know, uh, how they want to approach DLC for their older games. Also, I think we'll probably get one final thing about the final update of Splatoon 2. Um, also, we might get the Secret of Mana Collection. I'm not too interested in that, but for people that are, you know, that are interested, uh, there you go. Um, also that <laughs> King Zell was talking about Box Boy, and I'm here thinking, I thought the Box Boy series was, like, done. Like, they said that, you know, the last, the third game was the last. So I'm just thinking it's probably just a trilogy of the first three games, and it's gonna get, like, a digital, digital release or something. Um, then we're gonna get a full gameplay trailer for Joker, for Smash, and then we're gonna get a release date. Not only that, we'll probably also get a teaser for another character. And the character that I personally want is Slime from Dragon Quest. Not Erdrick. Slime. Slime is the more optimal choice. <laughs> Just in my opinion. Uh, Metro Prime Trilogy, I think that's going to happen. Uh, Pikmin 3 port. Uh, I would prefer to be Pikmin 4. But I've never played a Pikmin game before. So either way, for me, it really doesn't matter that much. I'd maybe try it out. Uh, why not? Uh, we only we got two minutes left, by the way. Uh, Persona 5R. Uh, we need Persona on Switch so I can play it. I want to play Persona, but I don't have a PlayStation. I only have a Switch. So I'm out of luck uh, unless this game gets announced for Switch. Uh, next up, we're going to talk about Final Fantasy VII, and I think they're going to shadow drop it and say, hey, after this direct's over, you can go buy FF7 on the eShop. Uh, next up, we're going to. There might, may, may not. I don't know. A lot of people talking about that 2D Zelda. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. I'm not going to make any predictions, but uh, I just put it on there. Uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2, I feel like, will happen. Uh, I am actually really excited for this game. I played the demo for the first one, and I was like, I was going to buy it, but then I found out that they're already making a second game. It's like, hey, I'll just wait for that one. Uh, we might get some free DLC for Super Mario Party. Like, one idea that I had was, uh, <clears throat> like, they could bring back uh, past boards from past Mario, game, past Mario Party games and past... Uh, mini games, so they don't have to keep making new ones, uh, and maybe just add new characters, and really that's it. Uh, Damon X Machina, you know, I think we'll get a release date. Uh, <laughs> my crazy predict I have a couple crazy predictions. The first one is Rhythm Heaven Mega Mix HD. I'm just gonna predict that every single direct until it happens. Also, 
This one is more like I don't really care that much for it, but I feel like it could happen based on a lot of things that have been murmuring in the background, and that's Apex Legends. A lot of people, the developers said they would like to put it on Switch, but they have nothing to announce. Uh, and other people are saying, hey, uh, uh, they're discovering some things that might point to maybe Apex Legends coming to Switch. Also GTA V. <laughs> Also, I think they're going to talk about SNES games on the online. Uh, hopefully announce Super Mario Maker 2. I would really like that. Uh, maybe Star Fox Grand Prix 2 as well. And also the Marvel uh, again, the Marvel game that was announced at the Game Awards. It's 5 o'clock. All right. Let's go. Come on, Nintendo. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> is it going to be Shingo Takahashi, Koizumi, or Furukawa? Which one is it going to be? Mario Maker 2, guys! Oh my gosh! Whoa! It's Mario Maker 2! Yes! 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 Whoa, look at this! Whoa, look at that UI! That's... It's slopes! We got slopes, guys! It's it! We got slopes! We got slopes! We got it! We win! We got it, boys! Oh, we got it! <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2! Yes! What is it coming out, my guy? We got it! We got Jester and Ice Themes! Oh, yes! This is just what I wanted! If I see Mario... If I see Super Mario Bros. 2, I'm gonna go nuts. Custom scroll? Whoa! They're adding more enemies? Oh! And Mar... And the cat suit? What? Oh my gosh, it looks... Ah, it looks amazing! Bruh, this looks amazing! Mario Maker 2, I'm hype. When is it coming out? June! Oh, yeah, June! Here we go. Oh, it's Koizumi. Look how slick he looks in that outfit. I'm hype. Yes, guide us, my friend. You just got your first look at the brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker, which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Yes! Yes! There will be brand new features. I can see! And many new elements are in development as we speak. Can we get Mario Ma Can we get Super Mario Bros. 2 theme? Aw, oh, stay tuned. All right. They pulled it. They pulled a Luigi Mansion three. Today's Nintendo Switch headlines. They pulled a Luigi's Mansion three. Sorry, I'm grabbing something right now. Ugh, there we go. First time yep. in ten years. Marvel, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Alliance series returns with a new four-player action RPG and an all-new original story. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast Thanos. of Marvel superheroes, from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Defenders, X-Men, and more, to stop Thanos and the Black Thanos. <laughs> to stop Thanos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems or online. All right, that's cool. You get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Oh, they got Captain Marvel. Against those that would do harm to the universe. As characters level up, they'll learn skills you can use on the fly. In Carol Danvers' case, Oh no, why 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 is the uh, basic attacks and skills? Each hero Why has is the uh extreme attack. Their most the uh, quality going a bit low here. With friends locally or online, take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine heroes. Oh no, sorry. Uh, you're normally it was, it was okay. Take this is much better. To Thank you. Unprecedented levels as you creatively <laughs> combine hero skills into synergy attacks. Your most powerful attacks can even be combined into Ooh. an Ultimate Alliance Extreme Attack. I've never played a Marvel Two game or Marvel Ultimate charts. Alliance, so Marvel it's pretty cool. Alliance 3, the Black Order launches exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Okay, this summer. Cool, cool, cool. What's next? Welcome back, Box Boy. Box Boy. King Zell. Ready to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. King Zell. Yeah, this guy is like. Box Boy is coming to Nintendo Switch for the first time. What is it? A trilogy? Game is tightly oh, it's a brand new game. Oh, I thought the series was done. New features. We fit something else in too. 
Box Boys and Smash. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Two players can box it up together. To restore peace on the box planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles, and beat those stages. After completing the story, you can access a whole separate adventure starring Cutie. The Cutie. Tall the tall one. I've never played Box Boy. I've played some of the demos. So, uh. In all, there I are might be interested. Stages to beat. Ooh. That's the highest in the series to date. Use Ooh. your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Box I wonder. And box girl Ooh, April. On Nintendo Switch, April 26. But I wonder how they'll tackle it if you'll if it's only one player. Let's can have a switch. Spring update. New new modes. Can we get some new modes, please? Please, my guy. Please. Smash Brothers Stage Ultimate Builder is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 3 uh -oh. this spring. Uh oh. What are we adding, you ask? Stage Builder. You'll just have to wait to find out. No. Remember. Joker is a part of Challenger Pack 1. He's secretly been Oh, that's a tease. Battle, and his moment will finally come that's a tease. before the end of April. Oh, no, before the end of April. Year, springtime is the time to smash. And Pretty don't nice. don't forget, new Ooh. Super Smash Brothers series Amiibo figures are on the way too. Oh, look at that Pokemon Trainer Amiibo. I want to get Ivysaur. There's even more One of them looked like Captain Stage Killer Builder. Treasure I'm saying Tracker. it. One of them looked like it's Stage Builder. It looked like it. It's a journey through the maze like miniature worlds of the Captain Toad Treasure Tracker game. What? In fact, we have two new announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. What? I'm sorry, what? A After free, a new free update, update. Okay. All courses will support two player co op. Oh, Maybe okay. Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. And then the second one. Captain Toad Treasure Two Tracker 2. Better than one, <laughs> an extra set of hands goes a long way. Ooh, cook it to you. This free update will be available later today. Okay. And cool. some paid downloadable content is What? Coming. What? We're adding in 18 what? new challenges what? that'll what? see you traveling what? to what? five Nani? courses. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> From sunken ships to a king. I didn't expect this. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. Oh no, it's lagging. Nintendo, stop! Get your stuff together, bro. Captain Toad and Toadette must obtain the shiny crowd in each course, all of which can be played alone or with a second player. Captain it's a Toad super crown. Tracker special episode will be available for purchase as soon as, well, later today, giving uh, you early <clears throat> access to one of the How courses. How much? It's probably like ten dollars. The content will launch on March 14th. If you don't have the game yet. Look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. Okay. It contains the full I'm not going to buy it. I don't have Captain Toad. To Captain Toad Treasure Tracker special episode once it's available. All right, what's the next, boys? <laughs> Steal yourself Blood Saint. old school action okay. in an all-new Gothic Castle. It's like the, the game that's, uh, it's like inspired by Castlevania, right? In Bloodstained Ritual of the Night. And yeah. So, the young lady Mira that freaking lo that looks like Alucard right there. <laughs> must use her unwanted gifts. To slay the demons wrought by the curse's original host, Jeep. Like, literally, that guy looked like Alucard powers, from Smash or whatever design for me uses. I think it's Symphony of the Night. I've never played a Castlevania. Will. Don't judge me! And dart about Jeebel's castle at lightning speed. Jeebel's castle? What kind of name is that? Jeebel? Of reality and two sides I gotta be honest, it looks pretty. Alive. The uh, graphics Throughout looks pretty castle, cool. A treasure trove of side it's like 2.5D. It's pretty tasks. cool. I like it. Small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body is covered with weird decorations. Beyond oh. the main story, you can dig deep into character customization. Oh, you can customize the character. And more. Stop the fall of man at the hands Pretty of cool. demons. And don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Bloodstained Ritual of the Night emerges from the shadows. Pretty cool. I'll summer. be honest. Pretty cool. The time has come. Dragon Quest Builders. Yes. Take on the children of Hargon. Yes. Yes. An empty island. Yes. A mysterious Malrock and defend your world from monsters. Just forces. give me a date, please. Enlist villagers to help Give me a release date. Alongside you in the story mode. Oh, there's a story mode. Cool. No, don't lag. No. Three other builders to create your own island in local co-op or online. Ooh. Craft objects and tools and reach new heights by building any structure you can imagine. You can build a hot tub. Dash. Live. Play in first person. Oh, you can play in first person. Cool. And warp all over the new retro inspired map. Nice. If you own the previous game on the Nintendo Switch system, 
You can craft the legendary builder's outfit and the dragon lord's throne. July 12th. Okay. Launches on Nintendo Switch July 12th. Okay, July 12th. Cool. There are more Nintendo Switch headlines to come. But first, a word Fire. from Mr. Koizumi. Nani? Well, how's it looking? Next. We the have Fire Emblem? For that classic RPG series. Please, take a look. Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem. The three houses. There are RPGs. And Boy, look. Oh, this is Dragon Quest XI. Oh, I was like, is this Fire Emblem? Switch in full force. Pairing the all right, all right. Style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series. I'm pleasantly surprised. Where there is light, but hey, I got it on my bingo card. No one does I can cross that off. Than the luminary, the boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero. And luminary the is that? Isn't that the name of the protagonist? Not twist of fate. The boy's I have not played a Dragon Quest game. Like one of the main ones, I played most of the spinoffs. On the day he becomes uh, an adult, I know, he I saw he discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. The luminary. When he goes to Give the me one sec, I'm looking on my phone lights. for something. He is dubbed Dark Spawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero. And Ooh, the right cool looking sword. Adventurers will join him on his quest. And then Luminary and Smash. <laughs> Together, they'll explore the towns and terrain of the sprawling, detailed land, Erdrea. Monsters Let me uh, do my bingo card. Encounters. When you engage them, choose your strategy wisely in turn-based battles. You must know when to attack, when to heal, when to use magic, and when to switch your party member's orders. As you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks, spells, and improve their abilities. You can also collect material so you can forge weapons, armor, and accessories. I technically got box by right, but not, Looking so I'm not going to cost it off on my bingo card. Side I thought it was going to be a trilogy, trailer. but it's a new game. Hand what? The casino. There's a casino in this game? <laughs> and racing. Erdrea is full of surprises like these. And this I almost saw they said Erdrick. I'm like, wait a minute. The to choose on the fly between the land's gorgeous HD this game looks and the 2D 16-bit glory of all. Oh. This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. Ooh. This game looks pretty cool to be honest. I might I may or may not pick it up. I don't know if I'm dedicated to no. experience the journey with English or Japanese audio. Ooh. English or Japanese audio. Ah! Game looks pretty cool. <laughs> look at them! Look at them monsters! Ah, stop it, Nintendo! No, bad Nintendo! First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. Ooh. Each sees one of the main cast members stepping into the spotlight, shedding new light on hidden truths. This hero's adventure... Yeah, Dragon Quest XI S. ...leveled up. Dragon Quest XI S. Echoes of an Elusive Age. Definitive Edition. Ooh. Launching exclusively... S. Definitive Switch Edition. This fall. Okay, it's coming out in fall. I like, I like what I see. While we just announced the addition of these new stories, there will be more new information to share in the future. AKA E3. Please look forward to learning more. AKA E3. For now, let's continue with more Nintendo Switch headlines. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen before. What? These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm. What? And now they're ready for an after hours party at the toy store in What the heck is this? <laughs> what is this? Play with your friends and family in a wide variety of competitive and cooperative games that support up to four players. I, I'm, uh, you can play online as well with players from around the world. Uh, okay. Yeah. And you can't mention Disney Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Yeah. Connect matching Tsum Tsum to clear them and set a high score. Yeah. 
The game also features a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Yeah. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our Tsum Tsum. 2019. Yeah. Whatever it's that was. A distress call in the Atlas Star System. Oh? But this time, it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants, Andrew Oikini, Pigma Dengar, and the Great Leon. Now Peppy, Falco, and Sloopy have no choice but to hunt them down, like the animals they oh. are, in a challenging new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle for Atlas. Cool. Every member of the Star Fox team has their own special pilot ability and skill tree. Plus, each pilot can take on any of the new missions and also Fox's missions from the base game. It's time cool. for a game of seek and destroy, but don't expect Wolf to play fair. Look forward to news on the rest of the additional content. Is that Star Fox Racing? Faction missions, so you're ready when the Star Fox Is that Star Fox Grand Prix? For Atlas update Nintendo! Nintendo. A heartfelt fantasy adventure crops up once again. Huh? Another season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. What is this, Etri and Odyssey or something? In I don't know. Townsfolk daily. I don't know, actually. And fruits at the farm. Let me not, let me not Cook predict. Oh, you can fish. Cook up a storm. Or even raise monsters. That's a sheep, not a monster. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back for more in Rune Factory oh. or Special. Oh, Rune, Rune Factory. For Nintendo Switch. Okay, okay. Cool. Battle alongside townsfolk, and before long, you may become more than just friends. You become married. See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you, exclusively in this new version of the game. You can marry. Ooh. Rune Factory Four Special. Fire will be right for the playing <laughs> later this year. Do you have kids though? That's Fire Emblem. And <laughs> what? Rune Factory 5? We finally confirmed that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Okay. Look forward to more info in the future. Okay. I mean, Soon, okay. a time will come to slay monsters and rescue lost souls. Before those What's souls this? become monsters. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Lost Sphere. Oninaki? Step into a realm ooh, built upon ooh. the tenets of reincarnation. Its people lead repressed lives. This is something. The loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between the living world and the beyond to rescue lost souls from a terrible fate. Ah, pretty cool. Cool mechanic. Nani? When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you. Oh. New powers. Okay, these that's a cool mechanic. Different, so you must choose the right soul for the situation at hand. In this deep single player campaign, there will What's be that, many battles. Tree? You will fight and you will become stronger. Those who fall to grief are lost, and the lost don't reincarnate. The very foundations of reincarnation will begin to crumble when Oninaki launches in summer 2019. Pretty cool. I like. Cars, robots, and Yoshis in a world of craft. Yeah, you know Yoshi. Yoshi's crafted world is almost here. This time, we have to put the mini facets of these graphics on display. Uh, Nintendo, Nintendo, um, Nintendo, you uh, you kind of froze there for a bit. No, don't do this to me. Even at this scale, you'll have some. All right, I'm back. To rank. Uh, internet died for a bit. Using I had to bring it back. Uh, obviously you won't see all of that because I'm gonna edit it out. Uh. If you so, wear one, yeah. it'll offer a bit of protection from enemies. There are more than 180 of these costumes. Ooh. And some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. It's a labo. Later today, we'll release a demo. Which lets you play through the oh. first course. The Yoshi's Crafted World game will finally hatch on March 29th. Cool. We have more Nintendo Switch headlines coming up, but first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. Okay. How's it going so far? Very good. Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes, please. Please, have a look. We got it, boys. We here. Ooh. Ooh. 
Yeah, me too. I'm tired. Oh my. <laughs> Sleep. What could have brought you here? I don't know. Ooh, I like that logo. The continent of Fogland said to be protected by mm -hmm. a revered goddess mm -hmm. has existed since time immemorial three ruling powers now control the land mm -hmm. in the south lies a region long held by a more than 1000 year old dynasty the adrestian empire okay is that a Beyond two is that a two headed eagle to the frigid north is the home of the holy kingdom of fargus ruled by the royal family and its knights all right to the east a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. All right. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the world needs. You start out as a mercenary, traveling with a group led by your father, Gerald. After an unexpected incident reveals... Oh, they're animated cutscenes, not like pre-rendered. You travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an... It's like a Fire Emblem Echoes. Officers Academy. So it looks Around like you, you can't customize time, your character, which you is all right. You begin to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Sothis? The monastery in three houses. Garig Mach Monastery lies at the center of three large territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros, the main mm -hmm. religion of Fodlan, as well as the Knights of Saros. All Not right. only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of Black three Eagles, houses. Golden Deer, and Blue Alliance. The Black Eagles is for students from the Adrestian Empire. House Leader including Edelgard. Including the House Leader and future Emperor Edelgard. The Blue Lions boasts Dimitri. Prince Dimitri of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus as its House Leader. This house is for students from his kingdom. The Golden Deer Claude. is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their House Leader is Claude. Who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance? As a professor, you will lead the students of one of these houses. Yeah, we're a professor in this game. game. We're a teacher. In addition to the house leaders, there are many other students to meet, each with their own unique personalities and Ooh. skills. Which house will you choose? We gotta choose? Oh no. No. Don't make me choose. Students are expected to travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, and gain real battle experience, including everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. These may be class assignments, but the stakes in each battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will depend on your leadership. Strategize as the battle progresses. To yeah, these characters the look pretty cool. And obviously they're all like wearing the school uniform, At the I guess. Officers Academy, your students will work diligently each day so that they Oh, and they can train. A variety of weapons. Begin lesson Master plan. Master the study of magic. I your and acquire special skills. It's voice acted. Yes. Faith, writing. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each of them. Oh, we got like we got like a gauntlet fighter. Through combat experience and study, you can help your students reach their full potential. Of course, they can. Uh, what they pass? Your students can also interact with each other at the academy, and by doing so, their bonds will strengthen. Gambit and boost. they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Gambit boost. What's that? What? You got wrecked, my son. By Byleth. What was the name? But the protagonist named Byleth. Ooh, I like these cutscenes. Forward now. Three territories. Three houses. Your very own journey. My Fire Rebel Macadamia. 
<laughs> Fire Emblem Three Houses. Coming out in May. On July 26th. July. Oh, okay. Um, Didn't it? Ix? Ooh, we got a, we got a oh, Seasons of Warfare edition. So, how does it look? It looks good. Originally, we announced that Fire Emblem Three Houses would release this spring. But more development time will be necessary. And so oh, yeah, it's not spring. It's July 26th. Oh. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we it's hope you'll look forward to the next generation of Fire Emblem all the same. It's okay, Koizumi. You're, it's all right. Time for some more Nintendo Switch headlines. Yeah, throw them at us, boy. Give us GTA or Rhythm Heaven. Entry of this iconic series, that look is Tetris. Is that Tetris? 99, 99 players. Tetris Battle Royale. But only one reigns supreme. Tetris Battle Royale. This is Don't tell me. Tetris 99. What? It's a Battle Royale. <laughs> the puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free to download game. Oh, it's a Switch off. It's a Switch Online only off. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I'm still playing this game. I love Tetris so much. I'm hyped. Oh, yes. Yes. It's a it's a Tetris Battle Royale game. Be ready to join the Oh, man. Today. Yes. Oh. out in upcoming online events. Oh. Oh, that made me happy. Prepare to kill, survive, or die in Dead by Daylight. Dead by Daylight. Imagine this. You're What's alone. this? Struck by fear, struggling he to looking survive. looking scared. And then you meet another survivor, but it's too late. He's scared. Is upon you. Now run, hide, scavenge for items, open the gates, and escape with your life. Can I be honest? Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called game's looking a little crusty. Victims. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying? Just you wait. With loads of maps, characters. And Bro, you see this frame rate? <laughs> you'll experience a deep progression system while you're on the hunt or being hunted. Is this an old game or a new game? The true meaning of horror when Dead by Daylight creeps up on Nintendo Switch this fall. Bro, did you see that frame rate? This dog will ruin your day. Delta Rune? What? What? Delta Rune? What? What? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I thought it was just a demo. Delta Rune Chapter One. What? Now a censor-free spoiler, a spoiler-free trailer. Explore worlds and make friends. Oh, Toby Fox. <laughs> Delta Rune Chapter One, available on 228 for free. More chapters currently in development will not be free. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. From the producer of the futuristic mech action game. Okay. Alright. Hello everyone. Oh, I got this metal music playing. Producer of Damon X Machina. And I have some news for you. Later today, they'll be releasing a demo called Damon X Machina Prototype Mission. Oh, I'm gonna download that. Oh, there's so much stuff I need to download today. <laughs> but in the demo, you can battle for four different missions while exploring the basic controls. Okay. Of your personal mix, no I'm interested in this game. Like, I'm not hyped for it, but I'm interested. So, so maybe this demo will help me get more excited for the game. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. Oh! We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email oh. to some players who try out the <laughs> game. It says still coming 2019. If you weren't selected for the survey, we also welcome your feedback via social media. We appreciate your feedback and hope to make this game the best it can be. We have more to say about Damon X Machina, so please follow the official Nintendo of America Twitter account so you can stay up to date on the latest information. Alright. Damon X Machina should be launching this summer. Oh, summer! Okay. With that in mind, the development team is working hard right now, so please stay tuned. Wow, there's a lot of stuff coming out today. Realistic Racing is headed for Nintendo Switch. Oh? Need for Speed? Comes fully oh. Loaded with a mix of high I say, is it Need for Speed? Believable handling, 
and a difficulty level that scales to your skills. You'll feel like a pro racer as you master the world's fastest cars to win motorsports' most exhilarating races. Don't hit anybody. From the prestigious circuit of Spa Francochamps to the narrow city streets of Barcelona. All DLC is included with 100 cars, 100 circuits, Ooh. and some welcome additions like motion controls and custom controls. Oh, okay. Players can race online or locally, and two players can race split screen on a single system. From street racing to demolition derby, when Grid Autosports <laughs> onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. Okay, I'm not really into realistic racing games, but that's all right. the Viking Age to experience oh, journey again. This or for the oh, very first time. That game's on the Switch. Created in collaboration with Miro Scientists. Oh, that's interesting. They're putting this game on the Switch. I did not expect this. The mind of Senua. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking Hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has won multiple awards, including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British Game and Game Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo All right, Switch. pretty cool. Pretty cool. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. Oh? Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11. Look at that footage. Five years in the telling is far from over. With Get over here. With variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure. Hey, look. That listing that, listing that happened today is real. Yarnies. Unravel 2. Yarnies on your own in single player. Or play with a friend in local co-op. For some Pretty cool. platforming fun when Unravel 2 comes to Nintendo Switch March 22nd. For the first time, on Assassin's Switch, Creed. Assassin's yes, Creed yes. Revamped gameplay and features tailored to the system. Alrighty, my guy. Set in the American Revolution, explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence and usher in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable content plus the entire standalone game, Assassin's Creed Liberation Ooh. Remastered, will be included when they launch together. The frame rate's looking a little weird to me. Final Fantasy fans. Is it out now? Open your calendar. FF7. We're excited to announce that Final Fantasy 7 will find its new home on Nintendo Switch March 26. All right, we can March 26. Also announce that Chocobo's Mystery Dungeon Everybody will release on March 20th. March 20th. We're pleased to announce that Final Fantasy 9 will journey onto Nintendo Switch later today. What? Once a classic, always a classic. They put 9 but not 7. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headline. Oh, that's it. Oh! How's everything looking? Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Please stay with us until the end. Uh-oh. Let's take a look, shall we? Oh no! Hold on to your butts, guys! <laughs> What's gonna happen? What's this? Nani? What's this? Is this a new IP? Oh! Oh! What's this, my guy? Is this a new IP? This looks pretty cool! Not gonna lie, it looks really cool. What is this game? It's like some kind of police game. Oh, you got a pet dog? Robot dog? Can you customize your characters? How foolish. You people are leading all of humanity straight to damnation. Straight to damnation? You're the terrorist here! You don't understand. So you're like a police officer. This looks really cool. It's like a futuristic dystopia world or something. Doomed to be used by those idiots until you die. Chained to your fate. Powerless. Today has been most revelatory. Finally, we're ready for the final stage. Character design? Why did you make that? Hideki Kamiya? What? Gatsu from Nier Automata. 
Astral Chain. Oh, so this is a this is a Platinum Games. Yeah, it's Platinum. And then Bayonetta 2. <laughs> Bayonetta 3, I mean. What Koizumi. you witnessed is Astral Chain, a brand new action game in development at Platinum Games. All right, it looks really cool. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please stay tuned. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. And speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Oh! Oh! Sure, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. Our next title will be the last announcement of the day. Please check it out. Is it Bay so it's Bayonetta 3? Basically? Is that what they said? Or is it something else? What? What's this? What's this? You got an animated cut. Oh! It's Link Awakening HD! It's Link's Awakening HD! Ah! They did it! The leaks were real! <laughs> the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening HD. Whoa, look at- whoa. Look at the- look at the art- I like this little- this cartoony art, this little chibi- it's almost like, it's like, almost like it's clay. It looks really cool. Ah, <laughs> it's got the Goombas. Twenty nineteen. All right. That looks that uh, it happened. It happened, guys. Wow. So, what did you think? Koizumi, stop popping up! You're scaring me! The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening will find new life on Nintendo Switch. Koizumi, you're scaring me! Stop popping up! Just say it, that's it! Just say that's all for today's Direct! Stop saying this is our last video for the day! Please look forward to its release. You're scaring me! today's Nintendo Direct. You're scaring me! so much for watching. Okay, okay. That's it. Okay. I want to say you about to drop something. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> All right, that's it. That was a really good direct. I I was personally surprised. We got Tetris Battle Royale, guys. Tetris Battle Royale. I'm so hyped for that. I'm going to download that right now. Right now. And then a Delta Rune. We the Delta Rune's going to be on Switch. What? This is who? <laughs> no persona. Sad. Um, we got some information on Damon X Machina. There's a, there's a demo for Damon X Machina, and they want feedback. I'm going to download that, too. Um, Final Fantasy isn't coming out now, but Final Fantasy IX is. Uh, it sucks. Uh, I'm trying to collect all my feelings here. No Metroid Prime Trilogy, so that's really interesting. I would have assumed that that would have been here. Um, they didn't talk about the SNES games, and people actually figured out in the source code that they actually removed all the SNES games. So that's really interesting. Um, that new that new Platinum Games looking thing looked really interesting. I liked it. And the Fire Emblem Three Houses thing, it looked really cool. It's basically you're a teacher and you're just teaching your students. Um, it it's funny because they didn't have any mention of like traditional Fire Emblem things like the pair up mechanic or marriage or anything like that. It seems like it's more like a traditional Fire Emblem game. That isn't that doesn't have the mechanics of like face and awakening. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And there was a couple things that I saw that was like, eh, we might need a little more information on that. And also, it's coming out in July instead of instead of say, spring, which is it's all right. However, we are getting Mario Maker 2 in June. We getting Mario Maker 2, my guy. I'm hype. I'm hype. Oh. However, there isn't. It looks like there isn't going to be any interesting games coming out in May, which is uh, that sucks. Um. So yeah, uh, thank you for coming out and uh, watch and watching my reaction. Uh, I hope I entertained you today. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I really enjoyed this direct. I enjoyed watching. Uh, it was fun. Uh, obviously, I didn't expect Animal Crossing or Luigi's Mansion to pop up in this direct. I expected that, so I'm not disappointed at all. Uh, I just thought we might have gotten the Metroid Prime trilogy in there. Um, but hey, we got Mario Maker 2. That's all I wanted. I am so happy that that was the first game they announced and they got slopes. We got more enemies. We got more. We only saw the cat suit, but I'm hoping they also bring back the ice flower. That would be really cool. Um, and yeah. So yeah, thanks for guys for watching. Uh, this has been Gravity Ghost, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.